For the very first time, US officials have given the green light for scientists to experiment with uh, modification of human genes. It's been approved in the hope of trying to develop new anti-cancer technology. But the tests undertaken on humans have been underway for some time already. Meet Elizabeth Parrish. She became a test subject for her own biotechnology company. Last year, at the age of 44, she was tested with two types of therapy. The first to prevent losing muscle mass, which comes naturally with age, and the second to battle stem cell depletion which is linked to various diseases. We spoke to her about her innovative products. We're dealing with people who have the potential lifespan of 120 years, but they're retiring at 65, often disabled, unable to work. We're telling you that we've done some safety data on it because the world is, in wa is waiting for a cure and we want to move it forward into clinical trials. We want to see what happens in human bodies. We want to create bodies that are healthy and youthful all the way through. So if your skin looks great, but you're right, you're getting dementia, what's the point? We don't want to prolong these suffrage death states. The gene therapies coming through uh, clinical trials are priced at a million to a million and a half dollars. Wow. But what we're trying to do is create that pipeline, figure out where all the, the stop gaps are, mm -hmm. where we're wasting money, get it so efficient that actually anyone can afford it. Insurance companies will want to cover it and people will eventually take it like inoculation. What if you could uh, inject neurons that already have learned languages and your body could communicate with those and, and actually have stored memories that you don't have? Not possible today, but maybe possible in the future. It would accelerate learning. Human gene modification is a feared and highly debated topic for many reasons, and horror films aren't exactly helping. In fact, we spoke to uh, Daniel Calvers, an expert on the history of medicine, to discuss the viability of gene technology. I was surprised to read that the, uh, this approval has occurred without any mention of testing the technique in animal models. They've only been uh, approved by a bioethics committee of the National Institutes of Health. You have to obtain the approval of the Food and Drug Administration, which, which sets a much higher barrier uh, because this is, amounts to uh, modifying uh, parts of the human body. Main worries are that you modify the genes in the human uh, body, in this case for uh, immune cells, uh, and then the immune cells could attack things that they're not intended to attack. So they could mess up the mechanisms of the body.